Hi, Tom Cole for BCSN and the Unsung Hero, and uh, great thanks to the incredible folks at Team Sports, uh, Mr. Bob Everly and his wonderful son, Nick, for allowing us to do this spot. and allows us to introduce to you great student athletes like this next gentleman, Brian Dooley. Big man, so good to see you. Thank you. Number 77 in the program, played tackle for St. John's Jesuit. Uh, congratulations on a great season. Uh, you beat Central for the first time in, what, is this seven or eight years, Brian, yeah, somewhere yeah. there? And you made the playoffs. How exciting was that for you? Uh, it was, like, one of the best experiences, you know, at St. John's, you know, over the four years, you know, first time doing it as a senior, you know, just felt great. Yeah, and I know you're a leader. I know you've done a great job. And uh, But what I also I like so much about you, Brian, is the academics are so very important to you. And uh, – Hovering around a three-point. Yep. And I went to St. John's a million years ago, and uh, and I taught and coached there. And I know what a three-point means at St. John's Jesuit. That's a that's a tough gig. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah very I, tough. I definitely understand. Did you? Was it difficult to balance the two, Brian? Because I know what football takes. You know the amount of energy it takes out of you, yeah. and you put a lot into it. Was it hard for you to balance the two? Oh uh, yeah, it was. You know, but. You you know, Coach McDaniels, you know, when, when you're falling behind, you know, he'll come up to you during school and, you know, tell you what you need to work on. So, and he, he's flexible with hours. He'll let you stay after school and then catch up on practice too. So, he's flexible with it. Uh, BD, what was the most enjoyable thing? I know this is a really hard question, but if you, if you, you know, kind of hone down the season, a great season, but what was the most enjoyable thing for you this football season? Oh, uh, well, you know, new coach, you know, we wanted to start something new. So we actually went on a retreat in the beginning of the year, you know, to kind of get to know everyone in the football team, you know, the coaches more. So we went to Heidelberg in the, the like, before camp, you know, that was our camp. And, you know, we just, it was like a brotherhood, you know, kind of get to know each other, you know, spend time. You know, I roomed with a sophomore and, you know, we just got to know each other. And, Brian, that's, uh, I'm so glad you said that because people, you know, what we try to do is let people into athletics. You've lived it. But people that sit in the stands and they, they don't really, they watch the game and they know certain things, but they don't really understand the inner workings. So when you say we went on a retreat, you know, they say, well, you know, that's great and everything. But, but it's much larger than that because when you get along with your teammates, when you really know your teammates, it does become a brotherhood out on the field. And there is a trust element there that you have each other's backs. Would you say that's oh, yeah. pretty accurate? 100%, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, go through the litany of, uh, I mean, you were all track, uh, district, uh, honorable mention, all state. I mean, you know, Brian, you had so many accolades. But you're going to go to Eastern Michigan. Yep. We were talking off air. I've interviewed your coach. And in the early days when he was struggling, and, and, I, and I went home and told my wife, because they were like one and something or whatever, and, and, yeah. and it was difficult. I went home and told my wife, I said, that gentleman is going to win at that school. And she said, well, well, what made you think that? They're struggling. I said, the way that he talked about his kids, how much he cared about his kids, I said, that is going to translate into wins eventually, and, and he's certainly done that. Are you excited about Eastern? Oh, like 100% excited about it. We got a lot of, you know, new kids, you know, that I met last weekend. You know, they're – Look them up, watch film. You know they they're they're nice kids. Yeah, and um, are we projected at tackle also. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, and uh, is that going to be? Uh, you expect a, a difficult transition from high school to college? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You know it's you know next college, I mean, next level college. So you know it's more but better players to go up against. BD on the way out. I know you've had great family support. That's meant a lot to you to be successful. Nobody does it by themselves. Nobody's an island, and uh, you know, I know you've had great family support, oh, and, yeah. and that your family means a lot to you. Oh, yeah. Well, listen, Brian, on behalf of everybody here at BCSN, congratulations to you. You epitomize all the things that we try to portray on BCSN, someone who's great uh, accommodation in the classroom and also does a great job and a leader on the field. So good luck at Eastern, and we'll be following you. Thank you very much. All right. Tom Cole for Unsung.